What do you think is the scariest movie of all time? Boston.com has compiled a list of the top 50 scariest horror movies of all time. I'm going to take you through them and see how they rate according to me and if I've seen them or not and how scary they actually are. Starting off at number 50 is Arachnophobia. I've actually never seen this movie but it casts Jeff Daniels and John Goodman and I've seen parts of it and it's kind of funny. I mean it has a little comedic twist in it. Um, but Spiders, yeah creepy. Scariest movie of all time. Top 50, I'd say a well placed at number 50. Number 49 is The Innocence from 1961. I've never seen this movie again either, but it's about ghosts and in 1961 many things were scary. Number 48 comes in at Blair Witch, but not the first one. Book of Shadows, Blair Witch 2. Blair Witch 2? Wasn't the first one crappy enough? Number 2 actually made the top 50 scariest list of all time, and was it number 50? The description of the movie says because the first one, who's gonna believe that this video was found in the forest and this kid's scared out of their minds when you see it, it's kind of hokey, but Blair Witch 2 was filmed theatrically, it had a dark and twisty plot, therefore it gets number 48 on the list. Number 47 I bet you will never place is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Now Willy Wonka actually was not made for children. The reason it gets this number 47 ranking is because the scene they cut out of most TV spots is the scene after they leave the chocolate room to go to the little innovation room where they go through the fairies and stuff and there's all the demonic crap and the bugs crawling over people's faces and blood falling down. Yeah, that's scary and if you're a child seeing this again in the 70s, now this was not made for children, if you're seeing this in the 70s, that's creepy shit. But still, 47 on a top 50 scary list of the most scariest movies of all time, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? It's a musical, and I love that movie. So that's my first movie of, why is this on here? Number 46 is The Wicker Man. I have never seen this one either. And I couldn't even tell you what the plot is about. The, the occult stuff happening, I don't know, there's a big burning guy at the end. Number 45 comes in as The Blob, the classic living creature that comes and just consumes everything, has a mind of its own. This, creature that looks like a big ball of jelly that just sucks you in. The Blob at number 45. Number 44 comes in as Rosemary's Baby. Another wrong choice. Rosemary Baby is slow, it's boring at the last 10 minutes when they give birth to the devil child. Oops, did I spoil it? But to be number 44, The Omen isn't on this list. That should be at least number 44, if not higher. It's not even here. Rosemary's Baby, bad choice at 44. Maybe the Michael Bay remake will be amazing and wow us all. Fat chance! Number 43 comes in as The Brood from 1979. This one I've actually never even heard of, but the description talks about psychotic children covered in mucus and shit, and that's just scary to begin with. Number 42 comes in as a movie called Event Horizon. It's a gritty graphic alien movie that is probably the best thing since Alien. Again, I've never seen it. Half of these movies on this list I haven't even heard of. Number 41 is the 2004 remake of Dawn of the Dead. Now those who are seeing this movie should have been higher. Relax, you'll get your chance in a minute but this 2004 remake is a very good one except they made the zombies haul ass. They're not the classic uh, the zombies are like I'm gonna kill you! For being the first zombie movie on the list, well placed. Number 40 is 1977's Eraserhead. Never heard of this one but it involves mutant children so you get the idea. Anything with children scares the shit out of me. That's why if I see a trailer or a preview of something with a little kid screaming or like Wah! I will never see that movie. Number 39 is the original 1978 Amityville Horror. Now this movie is a classic haunted house movie where the house takes control of the people. People go crazy inside, seeing different stuff, pig's eyes in windows, doors closing, walls bleeding, windows opening and shut, they hear stuff in the middle of the night. If you want a true thrill, read the book. The book is about 20 times scarier than the movie because it leaves your own imagination up to it. But good spot for Amityville Horror coming in at 39. Number 38 is the first of four Stephen King movies to make the list. It is Pet Cemetery. Now if you've never seen this one or if you've never read the book, you must. It is my favorite Stephen King book and it's a downright freaky movie. The very end, it deals with a small child, psychotic. That kind of sums it up. Number 37 is Open Water. This should not have been on the list at all. Yes, it's a true story about people getting lost in the ocean, being attacked and killed by sharks, but come on, it's basic no-brainer. I mean, it's suspenseful. It's not truly scary. There's no real jumping out, things jumping out at you. It's just, eh, I wouldn't go in the water. Problem solved. Number 36 is the original Nightmare on Elm Street. This is another very good placement for this movie. It's a creepy 70s movie. A lot of blood and gore, a crazy guy with burns on his face, knives for hands coming after you in your sleep? What's scarier than that? Number 35 is 1986's The Fly. 
Now this movie uh, shouldn't be as high as it is. It's not scary, it's gross and creepy. Jeff Goldblum turns into this gross, disgusting creature when he tries this transporting device, but in one end he is, and in the other one there's a fly, and so when he tries to switch, their DNA swaps, and so he becomes this fly. It's gross, not scary. Number 34 is the second Stephen King movie on our list, it is Salem's Lot. I've actually never read this story, it's a short story adapted into a screenplay. The movie is about vampires and dead children coming back from the grave, ghosts, classic horror film. Salem's Lot at 34. Number 33 is the 1980 movie called The Gates of Hell. This one kind of sums it up with the title alone. Gates of Hell open up in a small town, crazy shit starts happening, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Number 32 is a movie I've never heard of called Session 9. The plot, a cleaning crew at an abandoned mental hospital. I'm not going to say any more. Number 31 is 1994's The Mouth of Madness. This movie stars Sam Neill and the basic plot is that he reads books and they are coming into reality so monsters and crazy stuff's happening. I've never heard of it or seen it, so don't take my word for it. Sounds like it could be an okay plot and a decent storyline. Number 30 is 1980's Altered States. This stars William Hurt in an isolation chamber, goes crazy, stuff happens, uh, kind of influences the blob in the way. Uh, it's kind of a creepy movie. It's not scary. It's more creepy. So this is kind of thing suspenseful, creepy, and scary. There's kind of a fine line in between of what should be on this list. This one, eh, it's okay. Number 29 is The Mothman Prophecy starring Richard Gere. Now, this is a fantastic movie. I really like this and it's based on true events. Small town in the northeast experiencing weird shit, crazy flying stuff everywhere. And it's suspenseful, it's creepy, it's scary. You don't know what's going to jump out. It's a great movie. Number 20 is Stephen King's The Mist, another short story adapted to a screenplay. Small town, creepy fog moves in, stuff moves in with it, people are disappearing left and right, and creatures are coming at you and flapping their face against the windows and... Number 27 is 1983's Videodrome. I've never heard of this one or even heard anything remotely. Kind of like It's kind of like the opposite of Poltergeist, which isn't on the list again. It's, but this guy goes into his TV, he melds with it, and crazy stuff happens. Blood, gore, guts, you get the idea. Number 26 is Seven, one of my favorite movies of all time. The movie has a great cast of Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, and Kevin Spacey. Now this movie is not scary, it's just disturbing and creepy and is disgusting from fat guys bulging out and a guy who's not quite dead yet coming to life. Essentially a guy is murdering people by the seven deadly sins. And Kevin Spacey, oh Kevin Spacey, a great psychotic dude. So seven at number 26, five stars for a perfect rating. Number 25 is 1953's War of the World. Now in 1953, this was scary. Aliens coming down and vaporizing people. 1953 War of the World at number 25. 